Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how uh, my pizza and my book of pie was uh, done without uh, using an oven. My oven got in trouble, so that's uh, I have an improvised uh, oven. So just watch, and I found it uh, also very effective, guys. Don't be afraid if you don't have oven at home. You can still bake. You can still make pizza. You can still make pies. So you can still make everything. Cakes like that. Okay? Just watch. Guys, this is uh, the most wonderful time of my day. It's baking on top of the range because my oven got in trouble. I have my pizza pie here. But they are uh, already uh, going, uh, doing good. My, my buku pie too. It's getting brown. Beautiful. Yes. One more pie. Or one more pizza pie. One more pie. There are three pieces of pizza and three pieces of buku pie. So what can I do guys? Instead, top of the range. Here, and now my buku pie cooked in a uh, top of the range. Here are the pizza pie. Wow, beautiful. Mission accomplished, guys. My oven was in trouble. So, I, what, what can I do with this? Instead, bake them in top of the range. My crust is just the same as uh, what I'm doing with my empanada.
This is what we call pinching, guys. Others use uh, pork. Two times pork. Okay, let's use the pork. This is the easiest way. Let's do toppings. By the way, the filling of my buko pie is uh, coconut, young coconut, water, coconut water, and then mix with cake flour and cornstarch. And then put some creamer, or like uh, milk, condensed milk, mix, mix, creamer, condensed milk, and a little of sugar, eggs. Okay, that's all. That makes you very good flavor. That wonderful taste. And then the proportion is just enough for uh, your cornstarch for the thickening. For the topping, I will make whole grown topping. So I have here uh, one half cup of the flour. I will put milk. By the way, guys, I made puto seco again. Okay, these are my puto seco now. It's only 10 minutes from the oven. So it's made of uh, condensed milk and cornstarch and a small amount of uh, butter. That's all. Two to three ingredients only. You can make this. This in my blog before. Oh. Maybe two tablespoon of butter, butter or fresh margarine, like this. One tablespoon of sugar. Pinch of salt. Two tablespoons of milk powdered. Okay. Mix. Mix by hand. My hands are, are clean. I always wash my hands, guys. So, uh, sometimes you need the uh, hands. Okay, this is all. Three hundred degrees until brown, golden brown. And now the pie is done. Let's taste. So flaky, so crumbly. Taste. Taste. Mm. So good.
Wow. The toppings are so delicious. The blend tastes so good. You know what? The polvoron on the top that makes the spice wonderful. It's mouth watering. Not only the buko inside the pie. Good dessert. And for snacks. This is this is a very good taste of the pie with Wolverine toppings. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe if you like this recipe. I will send you recipes. Bye. Thank you for watching.